here in this room. I know we do. We have them within our 70,000 plus people. How do we find those? How do we find those founders who are innovating at the frontier? And particularly those who may not have had a track record of starting three other companies at exiting or happen to be building something that happens to be trendy at that moment in time, right? How do you take that opportunity of all of that energy that we have as a community and find those gems? So that's what Flex Investments is all about. We want to find those startups that are at the forefront, that are innovating, that can use and assist to find those investors who can really believe in them to make those dreams a reality because those dreams are going to help build the future of our society that are going to help us proliferate AI for good and across everybody, everybody across humanity. And so that's, uh, that's what makes me really excited about building, building this organization with so many of you here. Um, All right, so that's philosophy. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, so we're a strategic initiative. We are not a fund. We are a matchmaking program. We are still part of a nonprofit. Um, so right now, our specific focus as we're getting started is to really find those gems, those diamonds in the rough, those people <coughs> who are really creating those amazing category defined uh, startups and help them get their first yes across our entire thousands of investors across our business. And our uh, initiative here is not just to help these founders um, not only uh, you know just get a, an opportunity to have their um, have themselves be able to be presented to investors, but actually help them get, get every possible edge through helping them through storytelling. Um, and connections to investors that actually are going to resonate with, with what they're doing. Um, waste less time, focus on building, and get them the capital they need to go accelerate, move forward, and make it happen. So that's what that's what I'm looking about. Um, why do we have conviction? Uh, these numbers are actually dated, and hat tip to Pierce for pulling them. This is back in March. Back in March, this is our track record just from demo nights, looking back at public data that we had available and some surveys for anyone who actually responded. And some not public. Okay, and some not public data. <laughs> so it's still an incomplete and probably understated figure based on March, and this is probably growing quite a bit since. This is what our ecosystem looks like. This is just a sliver. These are the people who actually showed up on a stage or a stage like this at a different in a different city and demoed at demo night. Almost a million dollars in, in valuation of just what we can see, just what we can actually identify. Imagine if we could actually actively identify more of these companies and imagine how many companies that don't have valuations attacked to them because we haven't figured out who they are and we haven't actually connected them to someone who can actually believe in them fund them and actually give them a number to put behind their name and their ideas on their offers. So um, when we looked at these numbers, it was actually quite staggering. I think we were all completely shocked. Like, wow, this is the type of value that, that we're generating in the ecosystem. And this is just um, a sense of value through dollars. There's obviously all sorts of um, non-tangible value that's being created as well in terms of impact to humanity. So this is what makes me really excited, and all of us really excited and bullish about this idea. Um, some of the guiding principles as we're pulling, uh, trying to figure out how we're going to accelerate the ecosystem, really are about going a little, going beyond just being kind of like this, kind of like a newsletter, just like any other newsletter or deal flow or things that you guys might get spammed with. Too. <laughs> um, what we really want to do is actually find an opportunity to create. Um, a database and, and an ecosystem where we're not just collecting a bunch of names and you know sending them out to some some listserv. We're actually doing some sort of curated matching. We're talking to each one of these founders that we see 
that are uh, that have high potential, that have a really great idea, that could be accelerated through funding, and and then we're trying to actually match them to an appropriate investor. Um, and we've actually had this kind of in a stealth mode, soft launch over the last month or so. And it's been really interesting and fun to actually um, review some of these initial startups as they're coming through and get to know their story and actually start to um, curate them. So you'll see more, more from our program as we grow. Um, and obviously we have a lot of excited investors on the other side of the ecosystem that are excited to see startups that are actually like well vetted and um, actually match what they're looking for instead of just getting spammed all the time. Um, with with all sorts of like pitch decks and going through thousands of pitch decks, um, this is the value we're hoping to create. If you take out that friction, there's an opportunity for growth on both sides. So um, I'll leave you with those thoughts. Um, I imagine that many of you are either founders, investors, or know many amazing founders and investors out there that are working on incredible things. Um, would love to field any questions or ideas that you may have to, at today's event, but I also highly encourage you all to um, join us. Um, this is the uh, URL, investments.aicollective.com. Um, you can learn more there and apply there um, if you are a startup, or join us if you are an investor. Um, it's all free to join for nonprofits. So that's that's our shtick right now. And these are all the wonderful people who are working on um, this program as a, as a core team. But I have to say that it's not just the core team. There have been many, many other people across the collective that have been helping work with us to make this possible. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, hope this was uh, insightful. And hope to see many of you uh, join us. Thanks, Smith. Thank you.